in Ticonderoga, New York, a super fan of the Star Trek series has painstakingly assembled a replica of the Star Trek television series set. And you can step inside the Star Trek original series set tour. So what you're going to see is the transporter room, and this is where they would beam in and out for their missions on the show. Uh, they would stand here and uh, they'd film a plate. The actors would then step off, they'd put the special effect in later, and it, that's how it would make the actor appear to disappear. So I could go up here and get transported somewhere? Possibly. Okay, let's see. Where should I go today? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I say, beam me up, Scotty. Party five, beam up. <laughs> Energize. <laughs> Energize. Well, I'm not going anywhere today, so we'll just move on down the road. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> This is a forced perspective creation. It's only about 12 feet long. Uh, when filmed with a camera from on high, it looks about 50 feet long. The engineering set was used for a lot of different purposes. Even in one episode, this was in gymnasium in Charlie X, where Captain Kirk is teaching Charlie gymnastics moves. And if you look, when you look through the warp core, you'd actually see guys uh, doing exercises and gymnastics. And uh, so this room could be used for a lot of different purposes. Okay, we're going to go to the briefing room next, and this room was used for a lot of different purposes on the show in the 60s. They would redress it as the chapel, as the galley, they would have food dispensers on the wall sometimes, there'd be tables or there'd be people in here playing games. Uh, this is the room where you would see Spock playing his harp. How did a recreation of this entire Star Trek set end up here in Ticonderoga, New York? Uh, its owner, James Colley, grew up here as a Star Trek fan, running around in his Star Trek shirts as a kid, and uh, became a lifelong hobby, building set pieces, and eventually he, he uh, brought it here, and we finished constructing the entire set. Star Trek fans from all over the world come to the set to relive their childhood and learn about how the original set was constructed in the 60s. Welcome to the bridge. Now if you're Captain Kirk, you come on your bridge, you check things out, and then you step around and take the chair. Might as well take a seat. 